it's just about time for our uh, weekly mailbag. Saturday mailbag is going to be a short one today. Not a whole lot of mail, which is good. It's a, it's a good amount. It's the perfect amount. We like that. Uh, I'm going to leave your here. I'm going to bring the boxes in, and then we'll start mailbag at the usual time in about 10 minutes, 10 o'clock. See if I can get this stuff in without letting all the kittens out. Just keep going. She's gonna go downstairs, go do her own thing. Leave these losers behind, right? Okay. That's it. That's the mailbag right there. That's all of it. So it should be a pretty quick one today. Uh, but we're still stuck sucking until 10, so I'll be back.
something off there for me? camera today. It's a short one. Oh, and I think this will get me a little closer to everybody. Let's see how this looks. Hi, Yurt. Hi, everybody. All right. Uh, where are we at here? Yeah, that might not be too bad. We'll see. So, uh, here we are. It's Saturday. It's mailbag. Uh, what's the news for the week? The news for the week is, uh, let's see, uh, this week we were supposed to have our graduation, the final exams and surgeries for the two girls in this class, which are Pom right here, hi Pom, and B, wherever she is, uh, that might be her on the bean bag or, oh no, there she is over there in the corner. So uh, B and Pom were supposed to have their surgeries this week, and only Pom actually got it because B still had a little bit of a fever, not even a bad one, um, but the doc's all about, hey, you two, uh, better safe than sorry. Um, so I like that. Uh, I think it's good to be cautious. Uh, you know, you only get one chance. <laughs> so um, so uh, B is going to be a little bit delayed, and right now uh, we've got the boys scheduled for their surgeries on Monday. And it's most likely that B's surgery will be on the 18th. Um, but if one of the boys ends up uh, also not being ready for their surgery on Monday, um, then we may be able to fit her in depending on which boy it is. Uh, it's complicated. There's some real algebra going on there as far as shuffling the kitties go. Hey, ah, 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 Scotty. Scotty, I ought to put Yurk out if you're not gonna be friendly or put you out for a while, I guess. Okay, that was your last warning. Okay, if I see you looking at him again, somebody's gonna go. Uh, they're usually, you know, they usually get along okay, but you can see that she wants to establish some dominance and he's basically allowing that, which is the right thing to do, um, but she just needs to accept now that she's in charge and he sees that and, and move on, which would be nice. Um, okay, uh, so that's the big news is that all of our graduations are thrown into disarray right now and we're hoping that uh, we'll be able to get um, uh, everybody out the door in a timely fashion regardless of that. Uh, we've talked to the adopters and uh, everybody that's delayed knows it, so that's all set. Uh, then uh, as far as the other kids go, um, they have their eyes open mostly now. I think it's only it's a smidgen that's the holdout. I think everybody else has their eyes open, but I haven't checked on them yet this morning in any depth, uh, just long enough to drop off their food. So. I'll check on them again later on. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it for Kitten Academy stuff. Um, I guess it's worth explaining. I don't think I've mentioned uh, at any point that DJ is going to be out of town a lot in the upcoming month, and that's going to uh, sort of set the tone for a lot of things at Kitten Academy. For instance, the fact that um, you know uh, I'm sort of taking the rest of the day off uh, to hang out with her is you know a result of the fact that she's going to be gone for a while. And I, want to prioritize that. Uh, she's got some stuff for her new job, uh, her new fellowship that's starting that uh, she's going to travel for uh, in the next week. And then uh, she's going to see her family in India. And I'm not going with this time because there's no point in doing that. And it's much easier to coordinate if she just goes by herself. So uh, so that's going to be out a bit. And uh, like I said, that's going to impact some of the things that go on at Kitten Academy, some for the better. Uh, I think we'll be able to get a faculty stream going and that kind of thing. And some for the worse, like me, uh, you know, taking time to hang out with DJ instead of taking time to hang out with all of you, like I enjoy doing as well. So we'll make up for it. Um, I can't think of anything else that needs to be said before we dive into opening mail, so we should just get to it. There was a card, oops, oh, sorry, buddy. There was a card somewhere. Well. Oh, it's behind me. There it is. It's a cute little yellow card uh, with a bumblebee uh, and I guess it's just a bumblebee sticker on it. And it says, okay to read on stream. I have noticed that Crouton sometimes does some extra jaw motions while eating, almost like her jaw pops out of joint. My rescue boy Milton does the same thing. And I'd not seen a cat do that before. Is this? 
this anything to worry about, or are they jealous of the puppy class and trying to start a bovine class of cud chewers? Signed, Confusedly Yours. Um, all right, well, thank you, Confusedly Yours. Um, I, uh, I'm i not the me cat medical expert, and I, I hope I don't ever come off that way. I try to be knowledgeable about as much as I can, uh, but the, the gaps in my knowledge are huge. So uh, the real answer there is I don't know. Uh, I don't know anything about it. But uh, what I can tell you is that that way of chewing is something that doesn't seem unusual to me. We've seen many cats that sort of eat that way. Uh, and we've had several of the faculty that eat that way um, either all the time or from time to time. Uh, it's not unusual to hear a little bit like a grinding noise sometimes when they're eating and it seems really strange, but every time we've had that sort of thing checked out, it turns out to be nothing. When it comes to Crouton, uh, we didn't get a chance to bring her in for a, an exam before she had her kittens and we normally wait uh, until six weeks for that first um, sort of exam because uh, that's when the kittens can get their first vaccine. Before then, we don't normally see the vet. So they're about two weeks old now, give or take. Uh, so it's going to be about another month before we would get her in unless there's something that's critical and it's clearly not that. Now I will just add one other thought to all of that, which is when she came in, um, she had like she was drooling an excessive amount when she was happy and she doesn't drool now that I've noticed so that seems like that might have been a symptom of something more than just the way she is uh, and that combined with the fact that the, whatever it is that these guys have had that B had and that Jack had and that can stop these boys from having their spays seems like it does have a, an oral component to it because it's their lymph nodes in their jaw that has been the one symptom I've been able to notice that their lymph nodes in their jaw get a little swollen. Um, so that, I guess what I'm trying to say is that the way she's chewing um, and the symptoms that we've had in here, it may all be related in the sense that maybe she brought something in and these guys caught it and that's why she chews that way and that's why these guys had been chewing funny for a few days. Um, it's, it's, it's something that I'm considering as a possibility, um, but that happens all the time, and whatever it is, like I said, it's no big deal. They're all doing fine. So, so that's my long answer. My long answer is uh, just a really long-winded way of saying I have no idea. I just, I don't know. So, uh, all right. Uh, thank you so much, though, confusedly yours. I always appreciate a good question. Um, even when I don't know the answer, it's definitely thought-provoking, and it's given me something to consider. I might not have thought about the way she's eating as a symptom of anything, uh, but now it's something I'll definitely keep an eye on and possibly bring up at her first vet visit if it still seems like it's relevant. So thank you for that. Okay. Uh, from there, uh, let's see. Uh, we'll just we'll keep going. Oh, there. Here's a little something that is uh, oof, all oddball cat toys. It says Michelle J on the outside. So we know this is uh, sent to us um, by Michelle J but it seems to have been drop shipped from uh, the Oddball Cat Toys Company. And inside we have, oh, uh, the, the little Q-tip toys. These, uh, we had these, I think you probably sent some of these for Christmas. They, we had some Christmas themed Q-tip cat toys and now these have sort of a spacey print on them. I think it looks like a nebula or some pretty colors. Uh, and these actually are a big hit. They've, they've been very fun for the kittens and it says they are, oh, they have silver vine in them. It says they are tie-dyed print. And there's no note from Michelle J on, oh wait, uh, it does say more for the toy drawer. Oh, okay. Well, that's cute. It seems like they want to play with it now, so maybe I can give them one right now. These are a uh, hit. They're just, they're so simple, but the kids do like them. Let's let them play with one and the others I will put away for right now. Thank you for that. Okay. Uh, they're all just gonna sniff it once and then move on. Oh, but she wants the whole pack. Okay, Scooty, help yourself then. All right. Oh, uh, here's this must be our monthly Dr. Pussums uh, from the Dr. Pussums Catnip of the Month Club to which we have been subscribed. Uh, I should mention last month's Catnip of the Month wasn't a catnip at all. It was those three wands you might remember. They sent three wooden wands, uh, one with the, the rainbow, uh, you know, on it, um, the rainbow uh, polar fleece on it one with a feather on it and one with like a little woven fabric, uh, uh, not woven, braided fabric on it. Um, 
and they turned out to not be great, actually. Uh, their catnip bags and their catnip is fan fan fantastic, but those wooden stick toys are going to need a little bit of extra work because these guys, specifically Scotty, managed to break uh, all of them, and uh, they the sticks shattered. Uh, the rest of the toy was fine, but the stick part is pretty important. You need something to hang on to, and they just splintered into a million pieces. So those didn't last. They got thrown out. Um, everything else they've sent us has been great, though, so let's see what we get this time. Looks like another great one. Catnip of the Month. It says uh, clowder o nip balls and fish nip and also a lobster tossabout. Uh, that's what it says. Now, it looks like we didn't get the lobster. We got a fish. Or maybe I missed a little something. No, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what I can say, though, is that this is like the, the fish here that we got is exactly like the classic lobster that we got. Oh, this says fresh fish nip. Well, whatever. Oh, man, that is some strong catnip, too. This stuff is always a big hit. And I think I want to give this to our new mom because you've had plenty of this stuff already, Scooty. So maybe we can give this to Crouton, okay? Can this be Crouton's? And we'll give her uh, also one of the balls. Uh, but we can give you one of the balls and give the faculty one of these. Look at these, they're, they're soaked in the catnip. There you go, have that one. And then we'll bring the rest for the faculty and the crouton. Uh, this is a, a, actually a great thing though. Um, you know, the, even though we had the one month of toys that were like, all right, that one was a miss. Uh, all the rest is so great. Dr. Pussums is one of the best catnips. Dr. Pussums and Yao are both fantastic. Uh, the Dr. Pussum stuff seems like it lasts longer, so I always say maybe they've got a little bit of an advantage, but then Yao is a lot more available, where Dr. Pussum seems to be kind of a local phenomenon. Uh, so, local-ish anyway. Uh, let me check this camera over here to see if it's pointed just a little bit in front of me so that we can see these kids as they're playing around here a little better. Why? What happened? Turn off airplane mode. Why did I get into airplane mode? Oh man. Technology. Yeah, that's a little more like it. That's as far as that camera zooms in, so that's what we get. All right, uh, so Dr. Pussums, that's going to be really fun stuff. I'm going to put those uh, in a pocket. Let's see, I've got to unbutton this pocket. That way they definitely go with me. Oop. Maybe, maybe if I can. Okay, all right. We might have to use multiple pockets. There's a lot of catnip going on there. All right, that's a good start. Maybe we can put those Q-tips in a pocket too or put them in my ear, carry them with me there. No, you're not supposed to use those in the ear though, are you? Like anybody uses them for anything else. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, Stark Raven Cat. And I think this was also a Michelle J package to us. Stark Raven Cat, of course, another one of the small, um, smaller, maybe not small anymore, cat toy uh, providers that uh, they make really, really cool stuff. Oh, these are fun, too. Uh, there's one of these that's got to be kicking around here still somewhere. These are the little tiny, they're like hacky sacks. They're little, uh, look at that, uh, embroidered tiny little ovoids. They're not perfectly round like you would expect. And uh, these have been a real big hit with some of the classes. They're the, just the, their favorite thing in the whole world. Whoa! Yep, yep. Okay. Whoa. We're done. We're done. All right, Scooty. I think it's you who should go because your needs to play and you just don't. I'm going to put her in my office real quick. I will be right back. She's got to be, uh, she's going to be meowing at the door and asking where I'm at. Um, let's see, I was just about to say something. Oh, I didn't think that interaction between Scotty and, and Yurt was too bad, actually. Like I said, they're working things out. But uh, one of the things that I like to do when we're trying to get cats to get along 
is not to stress them too much. If they have, you know, just the slightest bit of negative interaction, then uh, break them up and, and come back at it the next day again. It's better to do a lot of just barely interactions as long as they stay good than it is to do, you know, like a big one where there's a little bit of conflict and let them just keep working it out uh, all in one day. It's better to space it out. They'll have a better outcome in general, I think. So anyway, these things have been a real big hit. There's been some classes, uh, there, was, there were some kittens like last year that took one of these things as their favorite toy in the entire universe. Um, and since then, I don't think that they've, they've had anybody that's hit on it quite as much, but they get th oh, thrown around so much. Um, and they're just, they're cute little things. So that's, that's perfect. Also, it looks like they included a mother of cats charm just for fun. Uh, it says, uh, it says also, Michelle, thank you again. I feel the same way. Thank you again. Happy Cat Mom Day. Uh, that's so sweet. And they also drew, uh, the Stark Raven Cat people drew uh, little cats on here and wrote their cat names Lollipop, Medley, and Kate. That's really cute. Also, there's a, uh, a coupon code here for 10% uh, off and through June, if you care. It's uh, SRC Spring, I guess. Very cute. Michelle, thank you so much. They also, like I said, included a tiny little bag of catnip and a little Mother of Cats uh, Game of Thrones a reference charm, which is also super cute, actually. I'll put that with all DJ's tiny little charms and things that will work out pretty well. So uh, thank you for those. Uh, we will continue to hand these out to kittens and see which of them fall in love with them. Uh, I know I've, I've, there's been one that's been kicking around just recently. I know I interacted with it just like yesterday, and now I'm not sure where it is, but... That's okay. All right, put that over there for the moment. All right, next up. Uh, oh, I think this is uh, the. It says addressed to Crouton, Crouton Letts, and I see uh, Guardians. Maybe that's what that says. Uh, like, you know, Crout and the Guardians is what I would guess. Um, and I believe this is from Charlie I, although I covered that part up. So let's get this open and find out for sure if that's right or not. Oh. Oh wow, we got a knife guard in here, that's perfect. And the short note, okay. Oh, I know what these are, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, very nice, you all know what these are, actually. If you think, if you're smarter than I am, you figured it out quicker than I did. Uh, this is a cute little kitty taking a nap in a chair and it looks almost like a photograph and not a Photoshop, in which case it's very well done. Uh, on the back it says, bother the kittens as much as possible, please. I like that, we do try. All right, uh, inside here it says, hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Just a short note to say congratulations on the delivery of croutons, croutonlets. Your midwifery, midwifery, I'm gonna say midwifery, uh, midwifery skills knows no boundaries, especially in dealing with crouton by keeping her calm during the delivery of Tidbit, aw. Uh, who is also, I guess, known as Nob. Uh, we'll go with that. And as far as, and as for Dr. DJ assisting and bonding with Crum 19, well, no words can be said. Enclosed are the kittens and mom's KA name rings, uh, delivery items, a book, and a pressy for DJ. Take care and stay safe from Ms. Charlie I, hers and meows from Weirdo and Kevin. Aw, oh, thank you so much. Somebody already wants to dig into what you sent. Look at this bag, wow. Uh, very gauzy. Uh, like a like a chiffon kind of a bag. All right, here we have like uh, like you said, their name rings. You've been making these little knit rings with their names on each of them. You can see this one is pink and says crouton, and it's got these little beads here that spell out crouton along the bottom. It's super cute. This one is smidgen, spelled E O N, perfect, just the way DJ spelled it. Oh wow, how did you throw that? Uh, <laughs> morsel and tidbit uh, i see the girls are all in pink and then we have the boys in blue we did that for their photographs too if you noticed um so oh wow the boys have these really cool transparent rainbow uh beads though i like those i like those better uh, personally i just gotta say and the blue is beautiful too so the boys really win this time so that's crumb and nugget and chunk Oh, wow, those are super cool. I, I really like, for some reason, I don't know, the, the little letter beads that you've used for the boys that are the trans, translucent with the colors, that's, uh, that's appealing. Okay, 
Now, you said there's some more stuff in here. Uh, delivery items, uh, I think that's what that says. Book and pressy, so let's see. A treat delivery spoon and his little brother. Oh, okay. You've uh, seen me using the spoons to give treats. Uh, and it, mostly because this class, some of these kids are frantic about treats, especially Jack, but no, he's not the only one. Uh, Pug, similarly frantic, and they even base all of them to some degree, but those guys, wow. Uh, so I use a spoon to give them treats instead of my finger because I don't want to lose a finger. <laughs> I feel like with these guys, I would. Uh, of course, we've taught previous cats to calm down for their treats, but it's a tall order getting them all to calm down for their treats. Oh! Oh, look at that. These are very cute little cat teaspoons. Uh, that's cute. We have a whole set of ones that look like this one, so that's not unusual, but I didn't know they made a long cat version of it. Uh, so now we have a long one and a little one. Uh, that's very cute. Yeah, I don't think these got put in the same place as the spoons that you have seen me use for the treats, which are really, look, he thinks, see, look at that. You can see him getting a little frantic already just because he hears spoons. Jack, it's just spoons this time, but I do have some treats set aside for them in the other room. I was going to use to give them some fam cyclovir to help stack the deck for their spays uh, and neuters, I mean, on Monday. Um, but uh, we haven't got to that yet, so sorry. <laughs> anyway, Charlie, those are really cute spoons. I love them. I like, especially like the long one. And it's a good reminder. I should find all of them and put them with the other treat spoons, and then we'll, we'll just have the whole selection. We'll be able to use those. So uh, thank you so much for that. Okay, we also have, let's see if I can open this very carefully. Oh, uh, you did say book, and it is a book. The book is Cats Gone Bad. Oh, my goodness. And on the front, we have a cat in the police lineup wearing an eye patch, too. That's doubly bad. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, this looks pretty cute. Oh, it is. It's all just really cute photos of these cats uh, that, <laughs> that are all dressed or posed. Really good photos. And then each one tells a little story about how they're bad because that's the theme, uh, but they're really cute photos. My goodness, all of them. Uh, I would show you guys, I don't even know which one to pick to show you. Here, how about this cute little uh, color point in a tree? There we go. They're all great photos. What a really cute little coffee table book full of great cat photos. That's fantastic. And then this says, to Dr. DJ Love, Weirdo and Kevin. All right. I think I mentioned before that, uh, you know, speaking of DJ's transition to her new fellowship. So DJ's leaving her uh, residency, which is like residency is sort of like an internship for doctors. And it, it, how long it lasts depends on what kind of doctor they are, but everybody does it. Uh, so for DJ's residency in internal medicine, it was three years. And then after that, she could become a, uh, you know, she's practicing doctor uh, in internal medicine. But instead of that, she decided to specialize. And when you specialize, then what you do is you go for basically what's another internship on top of it. Uh, and this one is um, a fellow. They call it a fellowship, but it's just it's another internship uh, just for more specialized doctors. Um, so she's going to do the pulmonary and critical care fellowship. They put those together for some reason or used to. And now they're starting to break them up, but they're still together now. Uh, which is, you know, that means basically like she would manage an ICU or something as a doctor eventually. But that means another three years of being an intern, um, which is uh, interesting. Uh, but anyway, she's, get, she's getting that. That's, that's something that's going on right now. Uh, she's just about to transition to that fellowship. Uh, I think she starts it in June, in, in early, like the beginning of June. So it's coming right up. Uh, and I don't forget why I started talking about that. I was going to say, uh, I don't know. Um, anyway, so you said a cute little, this is a metal wall sign. This must be starting to be a real thing. I love them. They look like vintage signs. They're like kind of beat up around the sides. And the one that I was sent in last week's mailbag that says the coffee um, because uh, murder is wrong. Uh, I put next to the coffee maker and DJ loves it too. Uh, I think they're really cool. So this is a tiny one and it says black and white. 
I see. And then it's like a word cloud of the qualities of little black and white moggies, by the way. It says moggies, black and white moggies. That's super adorable. And yes, DJ does have a soft spot for her little tuxies, tuxy black and white moggies. So that's perfect for her. Uh, she's going to love it. Thank you so much for that. Let's see. I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to put this over there. Take your knife guard and put it here with the stuff that was guard. Okay. This is also an empty box now, right? Yes, it is. Very good. Okay. Next up. Uh, Charlie I, by the way, thank you so much for all of that. It's wonderful. Look at that. This is addressed to Ms. Crouton. All right. Oh. Oh, my. All right. Uh, this is... Oh, this is one of those towels that you put in the water. Oh, I'm sorry. It's one of those towels or rags that you put in the water. Uh, Swedish dish cloth, it says. Yes, okay. Uh, yeah, DJ was collecting, uh, collecting. I say, these for a while. I, she wasn't really collecting them. She just bought a ton of them because she really likes to use them for cleaning. So uh, this one is great. It's a cat with a, like a fruit um, uh, hat. I don't, what do you call that? Um, you know, like the uh, dole or uh, why do I think Carmen Miranda? Is that what I'm thinking? maybe uh anyway all right that's very cute and um there's more okay, hang on there's much more uh, i don't know where the note is but we'll get there <laughs> we have a solar steak light uh that is a uh, solar pineapple light all right we'll find a way to install that in the kitten room for sure a light up pineapple what could be more appropriate for mothers about to give birth Ooh. Uh, here we have a pineapple cocktail stirs. You know what? These are perfect. More treat sticks. I guess these are treat sticks to use for our mom cats. I see now how this fits in too, by the way. It's got a whole pineapple theme going on. Oh, and a pineapple juice box. <laughs> That's very cute. Okay, to read on stream, please read to Crouton too. Oh, well, I will, but I'll have to bring it to her separately. Okay, to read on stream, please read card to Crouton on stream as well. Okay, well, for now, you'll have to pretend I'm reading it to her because she's not in the same room and she's busy nursing her kittens from what I can see. Uh, it says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thanks for all you do. Uh, thanks for all y'all do for the cats, kittens, and faculty of KA. Uh, the spoons are for giving baby food at treat time. The drink cup is to help either or both of you stay hydrated during long births. The pineapple light is to deploy as you see fit, maybe as a signal indicator of contraptions. Yes, it's almost like a wand, like a baton that you would pass at a relay if you were gonna like light the torch, the pineapple torch. I guess it is like a little pineapple torch. It is a pineapple. Okay. Um, maybe as a signal indicator of contraptions. As for the Swedish dishcloth for the KA kitchen, by the time you see this, there will already be a photo of the care instructions on Discord. Oh, from uh, Yu Bai Nam Rose R. Yum. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing your name, but I know you on the Discord, so thank you for that. Also, we have a note that says, I hope today is to your royal liking with a little kitten wearing a little tiara. It's very cute. Shades of Art Princess Paisley there. Uh, Crouton, it says, Crouton, you are such a great mom to your new kittens. Enjoy your time at KA. And I hope you become good friends with all the faculty. You by mom, Rose Arium. All right, I tried. Uh, it's your right to be thoroughly spoiled, properly pampered, and suitably celebrated. Happy Mother's Day. Aw, oh, that's a good reminder that it is Mother's Day today, as a matter of fact. I think I should call my mother. You should call your mother, too. Uh, but not until we're done with mailbag. She can wait. Okay. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to, uh, I guess, take all the pineapple stuff and put it somewhere. I need another box to start putting things into. Uh, yeah, so if you're not aware, the pineapple thing kind of took off when um, I just made an offhanded comment that uh, that uh, one of the mom cats couldn't start giving birth because I just uh, had prepared a pineapple to eat. And from there, uh, it was KA uh, history, I guess. Now, pineapples are just part of the kitten births, and you've seen that we deploy a whole bunch of pineapple stuff uh, just for fun. And it's just, you know, it's whatever. It's silly, and it's fun, and I'm fine with that. I, th I like the pineapple motif, too. I've always liked a pineapple, so it's fine. It's pineapple. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you so much for that stuff. It's very cute pineapple stuff. I love the uh, the treat sticks and the pineapple torch. Yes, and the Swedish dish cloth. Yes, will also get a lot of use. Okay. This says it is from Pattern Weaver. There's a note right on the outside. It says Kitten Academy Pattern Weaver. 
I hear a bell inside. Let's see. I think I hear a bell. I thought I heard a bell. Oh, no, that's behind me. That's not in here. What is this? Some sort of felted, I think felted cat bed. I'm trying to take a look here to see. There's not a real note in here, so we're just going to have to go with it. Uh, but we didn't know who this is from. Pattern Weaver, right? Let me look. Pattern, Pattern Weaver. Yes, that's what we know. Okay. It says Meowfia Medium Black and Aqua, uh, whatever that all means. I think we're going to have to work on this just a little bit to get it open and figure out exactly what sort of item this is. Hi, Jack. Do you want to help, buddy? You look like you want to help. Oh, okay. It's some sort of a felted cat bed. I think we know that much. It is a really cool color. It's like a sea blue. I guess dark. It's a dark blue though. And uh, all right, we're gonna have to keep going. We gotta open this thing all the way up before we're gonna know what's going on. Oh, and it's tied and it's, oh, wow. They did not wanna make this easy on me. Oh, oh. Okay, there we go. Kind of. Kind of go. Oh, they tied the other end too. Smart. Okay. Very secure. All right. Finally. Oh, it's got a matching ball. I see. And the rest of it is uh, also a ball. I see. It's a ball with a matching ball. Well, that makes too much sense. Wow, look at that. That sits up pretty well. And it says Meowfia. I see. And it makes this, this sort of oval shaped pod. I'm surprised that it pops up so well after having them packed in so tightly. Uh, cat caves handcrafted by talented female artisans in Nepal. Oh, okay, cool, wow. Hmm. And there's some care instructions here, and it's made from 100% merino wool. Ooh, very fancy, Meowfia brand. Well, uh, I'm gonna have to look on the uh, chat to figure out what we're supposed to do with this, I think. I saw a note from uh, Lisa saying that there were a bunch of cat beds being sent for the kids. Now, how am I going to fold this so that it pops up as well again? Am I going to ruin it because I unpopped it once? I can't really put it back in the bag anyway. Maybe I should just leave it as a popped up cave for now. No, I'm going to do that. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. We'll, we'll figure the rest out later. This uh, string looks like it would make a real fun cat toy for our string lover in the next room. So I will put that in my pocket too. I need a box I can put stuff into. Oh, hey, look at that. Here's a box right here. Okay. But what stuff? What stuff to put in there now? I guess all this stuff. All the stuff I'm carrying. These notes can also go in there. The book. Oh, perfect for now. All right. Good job. Hi, B. B's in a box, too. Hi, B box. Okay. B boxing. She's B boxing. Let's see here. I had a knife. Oh, it's in my lap. All right. Perfect. Uh, pattern Weaver, like I said, I'll check on that. We'll figure that out. Okay. Uh, does this one have a thing on the outside? Because I'm not seeing a note on the inside again. No, it just says Kitten Academy. All right. It appears to be a very fancy tunnel. Oh, very fancy tunnel. Wow. Uh, all right, without a note. So let me check real quick on my messages to see if any of this turns up in what I got from our Lisa. Oh, come on now, phone. Why? Why are you like this? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. That was Pattern Weaver uh, um, and three large cat caves for the puppies going in pairs and one smaller cave for Pug. Oh, okay. Well, once they all show up, we'll figure it out. Very sweet. Uh, okay. No, I don't see anything about a tunnel in here, though, that I can see. So that's okay though. Uh, let's take a look and I, I also want to see what this is all about. And it's also packed in a way that I'll never get it back together. Hmm. Oh, uh, 
I think there's a picture of it here, though. Yes, okay. So, uh, I don't think the picture fully explains what's going on. I think we do have to open it and find out. All right, let's find out. Let's see what the tunnel's all about. Uh, potentially. This trend of vacuum packing stuff really makes it take up less space, but then it's just impossible to unpack ever, isn't it? All right, so this was the part I was confused by. It's got a uh, little pad in it that's got the same print, I think, as the rest, and an ear. Oh, two ears? What is going on here? Tunnels don't have ears, usually. I guess we got to see a little further. Oh, oh, you know what, though? The top of the, the card had the picture on it there. Now I can see. I see. Okay. It's a round tunnel that can attach all the way around to itself, and this sits in the middle. Uh, wow, that's a very soft bed and tunnel. I bet these kids would love this. Uh, it's... The trouble is that if they all decide to hang out inside of it, there's no way to put it on the stream. Uh, well, I guess we could fit cameras inside. We've done worse. Uh, I mean, better. I mean, more. I don't know what I mean. All right. Uh, how can I put this back together, though? <laughs> because I took those things off. Hmm. There. Okay, there they are. Got these little Velcro strips. They'll come. Go ahead, Mark. Okay, so it is a donut-shaped cat bed with a whoops with a little uh, pad that goes in the middle and a couple of entrances, and I bet this is going to be so much fun for the kittens. Uh, whoops, if I can even get it back together. All right, and it's heavy too, and uh, the material on the outside is you know soft and floofy, and on the inside. Uh, it's also soft, and then the, it's just the crinkling. If you're hearing the crinkling bits, that's just the ears that are crinkly, not the whole tunnel, which is also nice because I think some cats are a little put off by having a crinkled tunnel that's crinkly, uh, especially if, like these kids, they can be a little sensitive about noise sometimes, like Pom, if I whistle, still runs away. All right, that Velcro is not going to hold. I don't know how it fit the first time. And if... Uh, the whole thing's gonna explode. All right, let's try to fit it in an A box. We'll just put it in here by itself. That'll hold it. All right, okay, there we go. Well, we figured it out. Lucky Kitty, uh, and it is, uh, the, oh, they have a Lucky Luck Kitty Tunnel Club, apparently. Uh, they have tunnels in all kinds of patterns, but the donut-shaped uh, ones are really cool. The little bed, it's so soft. They're gonna love it all. Uh, it's just a question of whether I deploy it in here or not. Also, I see Pom has decided to take the uh, Meowthia bed. She's in there. She's playing with the little ball and the tag and everything. That's so cute, little Pom. We'll send that with you and Saint if, uh, if it matches the other ones, if that's the right size. Okay. Well, uh, thank you to the sender of the tunnel. I, I don't think we know who that is, but that's okay. It's a great tunnel, and I know they're going to love it. Whether we use it here or whether we send it home for an endowment, uh, those, those are just great. So soft. Okay. Oh, these look like the rest of the beds. Well, that's a nice, oh, it does say pattern weaver. That's a nice coincidence. And it looks like that's the small bed for Pug, uh, based on the fact that these feel a little heavier. But uh, I'm not going to open these all based on how impossible it is to get those together. I'm saying based a lot. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, they're all the same uh, pattern, though. That's cool. So I think these are the three big ones. They're all the same size, anyway. And that would make this the small one for Pug. Uh, perfect. And I think we can fit all of them back in this box, including the one for Pug. And I'm sorry to disappoint, uh, but you'll get your own. You guys will get your own. Those are really nice felted wool beds. They're, they're heavy, they're solid, they're going to last forever if you take care of them according to the instructions. Oh, but you can't have it right now, Pom. Come on now. Come on. I know. Yes, it's good. Okay, pops right up. There you go. You sit out there. This is going to be Pugs, I'm pretty sure. Well, 
I guess we're gonna crush it. Yes, crush it. Normally that means good things. Oops. Now, I don't wanna forget how this works, so I'm gonna write on you right now. I'm gonna write uh, one large for pairs, three large for pairs, plus one small for pug. So sweet of you to consider pug as well, pattern weaver. That is really, really cute. Uh, and uh, I know that they are all gonna love those, especially, apparently, Tom, who's already into it. Wow, uh, does that, I think that brings us to our last box, oh, which is so heavy and a chewy box, and it's from Michelle J. Once again, Michelle J. Uh, and it's a heavy, chewy box, so I think we know what's in here. Only a few possibilities. Oh, well, we almost knew what was in here, though. Uh, I said only a few possibilities, but not the possibilities that I expected. Uh, what we have in here is, oh, okay, wow, that's why they're all biting. I wondered why there were so many bite marks on the edge of this box already. Uh, it seems unusual for uh, a box that is, would have presumably been full of fancy feast, but one of the things it contains is a container of Yao catnip that has broken in shipping, and some of the Yao catnip has spilled out in the box, and I think that's what they were enjoying. Uh, so that's a fun thing. Then the rest of it is Dr. Elsie's Kitten Attract, which is a litter that we have used in the past. Oh, and it's, uh, whoops. Uh, it's also covered in litter, so I don't want to take it out of the box. <laughs> uh, I mean, covered in uh, uh, catnip, so I don't want to take it out of the box and I'll get catnip everywhere, as much fun as that is. Anyway, Dr. Elsie's Kitten Attract is, uh, is a cat litter that has uh, an attractant in it so that they learn how to use the litter box more quickly, and we've used it for that exact purpose in the past. These days we usually use, uh, they, Dr. Elsie's also sells just the attractant part that you can add to any litter, and we tend to keep some of that on hand in case we've got some kittens that are having some trouble learning. Uh, but it's always good to have an extra bag around, and you don't have to only use it for kittens. You can use it for the uh, big cats, too. He does make a version that's specifically for cats, but uh, it doesn't matter. You can mix and match it. So that's awesome. Uh, thank you so much for that. It is a, it's a good litter, too. Like I said, we've used it in the past. Dr. Elsie's makes good stuff. So uh, thanks for that. Thanks for the catnip. Uh, maybe I can sprinkle some of it around deliberately. <laughs> We've got yurt in here trying to figure out what smells so good. Very, very good. All right. Well, that's that for the mailbag for today. And um, I think uh, with the rest of the day, I think DJ and I are going to hang out and we're going to bring these kittens to hang out with us. I want to start... I was talking to DJ, I want to start by bringing Crouton to come hang out in the spa with her kittens even, hoping that'll make her a little more comfortable. Uh, that might completely backfire though, so we'll see. Um, all right, I, I, think that's, I think we made it through all of it. I think that you guys are wonderful. Thanks for taking good care of us. Thanks for taking good care of the kittens. Uh, everything that everybody sent is wonderful, and I'm really excited to give some of these things to Crouton. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. That wraps it up. I haven't got anything left. So uh, what we are going to do is the usual where I get up and I pack all this stuff away where it belongs. And then uh, we wrap up the archive, which gets uploaded in due time to YouTube. And then I'm going to have some breakfast and we're going to shuffle kittens all over. I have some of our kitten time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So sweet, Jack. Oh my goodness. All right, I know. You too, buddy. You too. Let's get this stuff put up. Put up. Nope. Nope. All of you kids just sitting here looking at me. It's very sweet. That's stuff for us to use. This can go right in the next room. There's a spot for toys. Put that in there. This is that tunnel. I should write tunnel on it. 
because if I open that box again, it's going to be like those joke cans of, of nuts that have the, the little uh, snakes that, that pop out, you know, the springs that pop, fly, come flying out. It's going to be just like that. So there's a giant tunnel spring. I'm just going to write tunnel. A donut tunnel. Donut tunnel. Hopefully, what I should have wrote is donut open, <laughs> tunnel inside. Yeah. Uh, it says crouton, and the crouton lets right on the outside, but that's not going to stop me from writing it a second time. Hey, you can all go out and run around because your mom's not here, so it doesn't matter. You guys are all towards the faculty. Let me open the door. Get this stuff out, okay? Do it all together. I just wanted to bring you some stuff. Okay, we got this really cool catnip for you. Put it right here. Okay, put it right there. I know you like some catnip. Try this stuff. Uh, it smells pretty strong, huh? Also, I think I brought you a Q-tip. Don't put it in your ear. I had something else too, didn't I? Oh yeah, one of these balls. Perfect. probably will become yours, but I'm not just going to leave it in here with you, sorry.
Okay, what a perfectly sized mailbag that was. My kids have already taken off to go run around the house and be crazy, so uh, I guess that's gonna wrap it up for us. Oh boy, I wanted to put this in the other room. Mm. I think I'm gonna have to put it in here because of the uh, cat. So, uh, thanks to everybody who sent everything. That was a perfect mailbag, perfect size, wonderful stuff for the kittens and for their adopters, uh, for their endowments when they finally get to go home eventually. Uh, so, thank you all so very much for taking just such good care of the kittens and of DJ and I, but mostly the kittens. That's We like to stay focused on that. I really appreciate it. I'm going to have the archive right here. Uh, real quick one. I think I'm going to anyway.